welcome back to another episode of LSPD4. Today we're going to be patrolling in the area of the Vespucci Beach area. We'll be using the Myrtle Beach Police Department in today's episode with this 2014 Dodge Charger. I'll leave links to the Dodge Charger that I'm using in this episode as well as the livery that I'm using in this episode. With this charger, I have all blues on it with the uh, stillies. I do not have, uh, I'm not stillies, but I'm not sure what they're, what they're called. They're not stillies, but I'm not sure what they're uh, called, but whatever these rims are called, that's the rims we're going to be using in today's episode. We've got an all blue light bar set up, as you guys can see. We have a push bar. Now, the uh, Myrtle Beach Police, uh, they don't actually use push bars, but I couldn't get it uh, taken off, so I'll have to just leave it on there. So, unfortunately, I cannot take off the push bar like I wanted to. But, uh, yeah, like I said, there will be links in the description for you to go and download the vehicle as well as the livery. Uh, the vehicle was made by Gump and the livery was made by Doug. Um, I'll leave links in the description for you to download and put in your game if you want to. You don't have to. But, anyways, uh, we'll be 10-8 uh, and uh, let's see what we can get into. Okay, it looks like we're getting a call of a bar fight. It's going to be Del Perro Beach. So, we're responding code 3 at at this time to uh, reports of a bar fight on Del Perro Pier, I believe. I'm not sure, but we'll be responding code 3. There's probably going to be multiple individuals that are going to be uh, 1058, but we'll be responding uh, code 3. Hopefully we'll have some backup for this call, because if I'm going to be the only unit, this is probably not going to be going so well. But it's just going to be right down the road from where we are. It's going to be on the uh, Del Perro Pier, I believe. Uh, let's see. Yep, it's going to be Del Perro Pier. I'm going to go and just mute my siren since we're almost 1097. Dispatch, show me 1097. It's going to be uh, southbound Red Desert Avenue. I'm on the uh, Del Perro Pier. Going to be uh, signal 12 at the Del Perro, Del Perro Pier. It's going to be uh, male to female. Hands up, hands up. I don't want to taste you guys. Hands up. Both of you guys, hands up. Put your hands up. Get on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and just rest the mail real quick. Dispatch, we're going to have uh, one mail 1015. Alright, sir, go ahead and just uh, take a seat. We'll get this sorted out in just a minute. Go ahead and take a seat right here. Alright, ma'am. Go ahead and take a seat right. Right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just separate you between the other mail over here. Just go ahead and take a seat right uh, right here. That'll do. Go ahead and take a seat. Dispatch, we're going to have one white female, 1015. So it looks like uh, we've got a male and a female here that was fighting. Um, it looks like uh, when you pulled up on scene, the female uh, was the aggressor in this fight. So i um, not sure who's going to be going to jail today. I don't really know what I want to do at this, at this time. We'll go ahead and just grab uh, some kind of form of identification from them, search them, and then we'll go from there. All right, ma'am, go ahead and stand up for me. Would you have any kind of form of identification on you? All right, thank you. All right, we're going to go ahead and run a name in the database. I'm not sure if this is the bar that they're talking about, but she's got a suspended license but no active warrants. All right, ma'am, looks like uh, you got a suspended license with uh, no warrants, so go ahead and just uh, take a seat back on the ground for me. Alright, sir, go and stand up for me. Do you have any kind of form of identification on you? Alright, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and see if anything comes back on his name. Looks like he's gonna have a valid license, no active warrants. So, uh, I'm not sure who started the fight or what happened exactly. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking just to arrest both of them and put them uh, under arrest for assault. Uh, right now they're just being detained uh, until I can figure out who I want to arrest uh, so all right sir um, do you have anything on you that I need to know about anything gonna poke me stick me hurt me in any way so it uh, looks like um, I'm believing okay he fa oh, okay I found five ounces of heroin on him so looks like um, He's going to go to jail regardless. I was going to let him go uh, since he kind of wasn't the aggressor in this fight. But it looks like he's going to go to jail for a uh, position of uh, the five ounces of uh, heroin as well as the uh, assault. 
So we'll go ahead and just uh, place them in the back of our vehicle. Of course, we'll uh, split them up. We don't want them back. Them two in the back of uh, the same vehicle. We'll go ahead and call for a prison transport for both these two. But uh, for right now, we'll go ahead and just place them in the back. And then we'll uh, go ahead and search her. And then if uh, she comes back all good and clean, then we'll uh, call for separate transport units. So the way they're not together and they wouldn't start any fights. All right, ma'am, go ahead and stand up for me. Do you have uh, anything on you that I need to know about? Anything on to poke me, stick me, or anything when I go to pat you down? On the race, then I know we can make this right. I have to read about this. That would be real generous of you, Mister. All right. Looks like um, she does not have anything illegal on her, so we'll go and just uh, ask her to sit down and then call for a prison transport. All right, ma'am, you can go ahead and take a seat back on the ground. Right now, it looks like you're going to be going to jail for assault, uh, as well as your buddy or whoever that is um, that you're uh, fighting with uh, will be going to jail as well for assault and possession of heroin. You understand? You have the right to me and anything you say cannot be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to have an attorney. If you can't afford one, want to be appointed to you by the court. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you? Go ahead and take a seat on the ground for me. I'm going to have another officer that will be taking you down to the detention center. Do you understand? Are you high? Go ahead and take a seat in the ground for me, ma'am. Alright, uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just uh, tell the uh, guy in the back of the vehicle uh, his rights, and then we'll go ahead and just uh, call for a prisoner transport. We're not going to fill out a rest report since there's two separate people, or two different people, I should say, or two individuals. Alright, sir. Um, you have the right to remain silent. They say you cannot be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to have an attorney. If you can't afford one, want to be appointed to you by the court. Do you understand these rights as I read them to you? All right, uh, all right, sir. Uh, what's going to be happening is that you'll be uh, charged for those two charges I, I've uh, read or I've said to you earlier. Um, we'll be calling a prison transport for your friend or whoever that is that you're fighting with. Um, there'll be two separate transport units. One will be picking her up, taking her to the detention center. And the other one will be picking you up and taking you to the detention center. Do you understand? All right. So we'll go ahead and just call for that uh, prison transport dispatch. I'm going to need two separate 1016s to uh, southbound uh, Red Desert Avenue on the Del Piro or Del Piro Pier. Call for multiple single transport units since there's two involved. It is better just to split them up uh, since they already have been fighting and they probably don't like each other so it probably wouldn't do any good to be in the same uh, van or whatever vehicle because uh, they probably will start fighting in the back of the vehicle so it's better just to call for two separate transport units. Looks like we can go ahead and just call or we can go ahead and just end the, this call. Uh, it looks like it's going to be code 4. I thought there would be multiple people instead of just two people but that wasn't the case. Transport unit is here to pick up that individual, I believe, and uh, the other transport unit will be picking her up here shortly. So, looks like the transport units are trying to get here. So, we'll be 10-8 uh, off of here. Dispatch is going to be code for transport units are 1097. So, it looks like we have a parking violation. We're going to have a looks like a black uh, uh Looks like it's parked in the fire lane. So, we're going to go ahead and just uh, deal with it real quick. Dispatch looks like we're going to have a uh, 1086 vehicle. It's going to be a black uh, Quiquet. It's going to be southbound Bay Tree, uh, or not Bay Tree, but Bay City Attention Avenue and San Castle Way. Tag on that vehicle is going to be San Andreas 64 X Ray uh, uh, Bravo uh, Qu uh, Quebec 484. I keep getting uh, Bay Tree Canyon Road and Bay City Avenue mixed up. That's just something I always get mixed up. Not sure why, but I get them mixed up a lot. We're going to go and just run the plate, see if it's uh, got any warrants coming back or anything. Alright, looks like it's me. Okay, what the heck, dude. Okay, we're not going to worry about that guy just hitting the vehicle. Uh, we, got to, we have to deal with this vehicle first. So um, the guy just went by, uh, he kind of clipped the side of the vehicle and now the car alarm's going off and it just went back off. So we're going to go and just stop the vehicle for uh, legal parking. There we go, the vehicle has been sighted. Not sure if I want to call a tow truck or not uh, since it is parked in a fire lane. We have 
There are uh, some fire lanes down there as well as uh, fire, fire lanes on the opposite side of the road. So I guess we can just leave the vehicle here uh, in case the fire department needs to come. There are still uh, some other fire lanes that the fire department can go and park. So I guess we can just leave the vehicle there. I, I, that's, see, I, I didn't know if I wanted to tow it or if I wanted just to give it a citation or not. So I guess I'm just going to leave it here, give them a citation, come back later. If it's still here, then we'll tow it. But if it's um, gone by then, then, you know, they've got the citation and they're not going to be parking any, any, any more in fire lanes. But what I was saying is that, uh, you know, there are some other fire lanes that the fire department could park in. Like there's some back here as well as some on the opposite side of the road and then there's some down there so the fire department can park somewhere in case there is a fire or something like that we don't have to worry about that so dispatch shall be 10-8 uh, with a uh, parking citation looks like we're going to have some gang activity reported in um, I believe it's I, th I think it's Palomino Avenue so we're responding code 3 there's going to be gunfire going off over in uh, Palomino Avenue Hopefully we'll have some more units for this call. We're responding code 3 at this time. Dispatch show me responding. It's going to be uh, Palomino Avenue in the Del Perro or Vespucci Beach area. Looks like uh, we're going to be right down the road. Dispatch show me 1097. Okay, shots fired, dispatch. Shots fired. We're going to need some assistance. Dispatch looks like there's going to be multiple black males with uh, weapons firing at each other. Dispatch shots been fired. Priority. I need priority. Okay, we're just going to take down as many people as we can because it looks like they're all just firing at each other. So, Dispatch, I need assistance. Okay, looks like we're going to have one clean the scene right now. Okay, looks like uh, one more. Okay, nope. Uh, that's an officer there. Okay, uh, looks like we're going to have one fleeing the scene right now. Dispatch, uh, we have one fleeing the scene. Okay, dang it, my tire's popped. Okay, we're going to go ahead and call for additionals. My tire's been popped right now, so we're going to go ahead and call for additionals for that pursuit. Go ahead and call for our air support unit. I'm going to stay here while those units deal with that. Since my tire is popped, I want to be realistic here. So I'm going to go and just call for uh, corner services. And we'll go ahead and um, hopefully those units will go ahead and get that guy under arrest. We can't do much since um, since uh, that guy is... Uh, we can't really do much since our tires, uh, or those guys shot my tire out. So... We'll just stay here on scene uh, until corner services get here and we'll try to fix our tire. Hopefully we have a spare in the trunk. Um, so I'll be back with you guys once I get that spare tire put back on. Alright, looks like we got the spare tire back on. I want to go ahead and respond to the last known location of the uh, suspect that are trying to get under arrest. Hopefully those units got them uh, that uh, other suspect to uh, fleeing the scene. It's just going to be right down the road. Alright, uh, looks like uh, suspect's going to be down at this time. Officers have uh, must have been in a shootout with them. We'll go ahead and call for uh, corner down here to come pick up this individual as well. Why is it not allowing me to call corner? For some reason it won't allow me to call corner, so I guess we'll have to call EMS since it won't allow us to call corner. Attention all units. We have an ambulance we'll go ahead and block off the road the since we got an active uh, crime scene. There we go, road's blocked. Uh, we'll go ahead and just, um, I'm gonna see what these officers are doing, see if they're okay, because I'm not sure what's going on here. It looks like I got abandoned police cars. Yeah, we got some abandoned police cars. Looks like um, corners from the uh, bodies that died on Palomino Avenue, just right down the road from where all the gunfire took place. Looks like uh, all the suspects uh, died from gunshots or gunfire. Looking good. 
paramedics are going to be 1097. Looks like they're going to be dealing with them. Uh, looks like it's going to be. Uh, looks like we're going to have a suspect here, deceased, on scene. Not sure why it's not allowing me to call corner for some reason. It's weird. I'm not sure why it's not why why it's not letting me do that. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, probably because we already had a corner out here dealing with people. So we got some band of police cars out there or over there, I should say. Um, Corner services are coming. EMS wrapped up from the scene. So once the corner services pick up this body, it looks like we can go back 10 8 off of this. Uh, I think the corner picked up all the other bodies over there. We had to fix our tire because uh, some, the suspects on scene shot my tire out. Um, we had to use a spare tire from the trunk. Okay, looks like uh, they said uh, this one died from uh, a firearm. So it looks like they'll be taking um, the body. All right, looks like they cleaned it up. So um, all that's left is uh, a few uh, police cars abandoned. It's a pool of blood. So uh, we'll be uh, 10 8 off of this, code 4. Unfortunately, I will be ending the episode right here. Uh, I know uh, you guys probably wanted to see more action or more stuff, but. Um, it is uh, getting time, or getting close to time to for me to end the episode. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the episode. If you uh, enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like on the video. Let's try to get 15 likes on this episode. I appreciate all the support on my last episode with the unmarked uh, uh, Tahoe that I did. Uh, appreciate everybody commenting, letting me know um, and what they thought of it. And I appreciate all the uh, likes on that episode. It was a uh, it was a good episode. I'm I, I'm glad everybody enjoyed it and. I hope we can get that same a number of uh, likes we got on the um, unmarked uh, episode, like on this one. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, be sure to hit that like button. If you're uh, new to the channel, be sure to s hit that subscribe button. And uh, be sure, really dude, really, be sure to hit that, uh, or be sure to comment down below and let me know your thoughts of uh, the episode. And I uh, hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I mean, I had a good weekend. Uh, let me know in the comment section below how was your weekend, and... I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.